Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to prove a given statement using proof by resolution in first order logic. Also, I will discuss uh, how to draw resolution tree with the help of simple solved example. In this case, we have been given the following problem definition. The law says that it is a crime for an American to sell weapons to hostile nations. The country no no. No no is a country. An enemy of America has some missiles and all of its missiles, that's a missiles of Nono, were sold to it by Colonel West and who is a American in this case. An enemy of America counts as hostile. So these are the statements given to us. Given these statements, uh, what we need to do is we need to prove West is a criminal here. So we will take uh, one sentence or the statement at a time. And we will try to convert each of these statements into first order logic first. And then we will use a proof by resolution and we will prove this statement. The first statement in the problem definition is this one. It is a crime for an American to sell weapons to hostile nations. So to convert this statement into first order logic, we need some predicate symbols here. That is the first one is the criminal American sell weapons and hostile here. So what is given to us? It is a crime for an American to sell weapons to hostile nations here. So we need uh, uh, three variables. The first one is to indicate he is an American. And then uh, second variable is to represent the weapons. And the third variable is to represent hostile in this case. So what we can do? We can write for all x, y and z. American x, that is the first one. And weapon Y, the meaning of this one is X is an American and Y is a weapon and Z is a hostile nation in this case. And X has sold Y weapon to Z. If all these things are true, the meaning of this one is the person X is called as the criminal in America. So this is the rule number one in this case. Coming back to the second one. Nono has some missiles. Some is there. The meaning of this one is it is existential quantifier. And whenever we have existential quantifier, we use and as the connectivity here. So there exists X such that Nono owns X. The meaning of this one is X is a missile. And this missile is owned by whom? Nono in this case. As said earlier, X is a missile here. So that's the reason we need to take and missile X here. Because uh, there is an existential quantifier, we can remove it by here only by replacing the x by some uh, constant here. Uh, in this case, I will be replacing x by m1. So, owns no no m1. The meaning of this one is no no owns m1 missile uh, because x is replaced with m1. So, missile m1 is the answer here. And in between, you can see here there is a and the meaning of this one is this will become one uh, clause and this will become another clause over here. That is owns no no comma m1 missile m1. These are the two rules what we will get from this statement here. Coming back to the next one that is known as uh, all of its missiles were sold to it. It means what? No no in this case by kernel waste. So all of its missile, the meaning of this one is uh, for all x, if x is a missile and this x is owned by whom? x is owned by it means in this case is uh, the no no here. So if X is owned by no no, then West has sold X weapon to no no in this case. So that is what the meaning of this statement. Now, what is the next statement? The next statement is an enemy of America counts as a hostile here. This is a very simple statement. That is uh, for all X, if X is an enemy of America, then he will be considered as the hostile in this case. That is hostile X here. Coming back to the next statement that is known as West who is an American. The meaning of this one is what? American West here. So this is a simple statement what we have. Coming back to the next one, uh, the country no no an enemy of America. What is the meaning of this one? No no is a country which is the enemy of America here. The enemy no no comma America in this case. So enemy is the predicate, no no is the country and America is the country in this case. The next one is all missiles are weapons. The meaning of this one is uh, for all X, if X is a missile, then X is a weapon also here. 
So this is how we can convert each of the statements from the given problem definition into first order logic here. Now once all the statements are present in first order logic, what we need to do is uh, we need to convert these statements into the conjunctive normal form here. If you have a statements uh, with uh, implications, bidirectionals or something like that, we cannot perform proof by resolution here. So what we do is uh, these are the eight uh, rules what we have identified. We will convert each of these rules into something known as conjunctive normal form. I have already discussed how can we convert a statement into conjunctive normal form. Link for that video is given in the description below. Briefly, I will explain uh, how can we convert each of these statements into conjunctive normal form here. If you look at the first one, there is an implication. So what we need to do? We need to remove implication here. So if you want to remove implication, what we can do is uh, we will use this particular formula that is alpha implies beta is always equivalent to negation of first one that is alpha or the second one that is beta here. So in this case, uh, this is the premise of this uh, implication here and this is the conclusion. So what we need to do? Negation of uh, premise or the conclusion in this case. So there will be a negation here. From here to here, there will be a bracket in this case and this will be changed to or in this case. Now what we need to do? We need to take this uh, negation inside. Once you take this negation inside, it will become negation of American X. This and will become or negation of weapon Y. This again and will become or negation of cells X, Y, Z. This and will become or negation of hostile Z here or criminal X as it is. There is a one more thing you can notice here. There, uh, there is something known as uh, the universal quantifier here. We need to remove this universal quantifier here. So once you remove the universal quantifier, the first rule is present in conjunctive normal form in this case. For the second one and third one, there is no need to apply the conjunctive normal form because it does not have any implication, bidirectional or anything else. So we will go with the rule number four here. So once you go to the rule number four, again we have something known as the implication here. So what we can do is negation of uh, first clause or the second clause in this case. So uh, this will become again negation of this entire term. So we need to take this negation inside. It will become negation of missile X. This will become or negation of owns no no comma X here. And this implication will become or cells west comma X comma no no in this case. And uh, in this expression, you can notice here there is something known as the universal quantifier. We need to remove this universal quantifier here. Now, if you come to the fifth rule, there is again the implication. So you can remove this implication by the same procedure negation of the first clause or the second clause here. So it is the simple uh, statement. So there is no need to apply the De Morgan's law. We will remove this particular universal quantifier. For the sixth and seventh rule, there is no need to convert uh, the statement into CNF because they are already in CNF format. For the eighth rule, again, we have implication here. So what we can do is negation of this particular statement or the second one in this case. Again, it is the simple statement. So that's the reason it will remain so negation of missile X or weapon X here. And this universal quantifier will be removed here. So once you perform all these things, uh, the statements will look something like this. So this is how uh, we can convert the given problem definition into first order logic and the first order logic to conjunctive normal form here. So this is the first part of uh, proof by resolution for the given problem definition. The link for the second part is given in the description below. I hope the concept of uh, converting the statements into first order logic and converting the first order logic into conjunctive normal form is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.